This video is for those of you who feel uncomfortable singing harmonies. Let's call it basic ear training. So you're going to start on a C. We're going to sing an A ah vowel and hold it nice and long. Good. Now you're going to do it again and you're going to really hold on to that note, feel how it feels in your body, where it is in your in your voice. And here we go. We got it, right? So now I'm going to play something slightly different on the piano. I'm going to take it up. going to stay exactly on the same note on the C as we were before. So I'll do it with you. Here we go. Good. We're going to do that again and this time I want you to listen really hard to the piano. The piano is going against you but I want you to listen to the, the harmony that it's making all right. So you're going to hold the C just as we've been doing. Here we go. Now I'm not going to sing. You're going to do exactly the same thing, but I'm going to hold back my voice and you're only going to have the piano. Try and hold on to that C nice and strong. Here we go. Let's try that again. Just to give you a bit of a guide, I'm going to keep playing the C to remind you to stay on that bass. All right, here we go. Now I'm going to sing the piano moving up and down because normally it's okay singing with a piano but then when you add other voices on different notes then that really starts to pull you in different directions so um, you can listen to me but do not go with me you're going to stay on the sea all the way through here we go If you found that hard, listen to the piano, okay? I'm only going to play your note this time. So listen to the piano, don't listen to me. Here we go. How was that? Good, I hope. Right, so now you're going to do the movement. So listen to this. together. And again. Without the piano going up. So this time I just want you to go up the scale without the piano going up. Good. Now I'm going to play both parts and I want you to just listen to the piano going up and down and go with that, all right? Just as we've just done. hold the C at the bottom and you're going to go up. Here we go. Listen to the piano. If you're finding it hard when I sing and I'm singing against you, listen to the piano. Here we go. Good. Let's take it a little bit further. I'm just going to work this tune. That's all, okay? Uh, 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 uh. You 
easy. We go four up and four back down with a little re repetition in places. Ah, 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 and again. Ah, ah, ah. One more time. Sing it and listen to the piano with the extra notes. Okay, I'm going to take out our note. We're still going to sing what we were singing, but the piano is playing something different. So we're starting there. Ah, ah, you ready? again. Let's put all parts back together. I'm going to stop singing. You're going to keep singing what we've just done. Are you ready? We're now going to add one more layer to it. You're going to stay on the bass note C exactly what we've been doing. Ah, listen to all that music. Ah, 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 ah. Now what normally happens is when you hear a chord put together, you either can hear very clearly the bass, la, or you might be one of those people who always picks out the higher note. And there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's just then important that you can find the other notes within the chord. But that's another lesson for another day. Well done. Keep practicing. One thing I would suggest is if you ever hear harmonies and songs on the radio or songs that you're listening to at home, try to sing the other parts. Try really hard not to go with what's obvious to you, whether it's the bass or the higher note. Go with the other part. Really try and hear what they're doing. And by doing that, you're going to be training your ears in your recreational time. Good luck and happy singing.